Hey, what's up? What's up? Leo Nidus is coming at you here in this video. Uh, making this video mainly to talk to gonna go over a little review, um, a walkthrough, so to speak, of a platform that I use called Smart Member. Um, I'm mainly making this video because Johnny B requested it, and it's kind of a long time coming simply because Smart Member can be a really in depth platform, right? Um, there's a lot that you can do with it, there's a lot of flexibility with it, and uh, the, the tutorials are sometimes they're not specific per what you may want to be doing so I want to you know show you how I use smart memory and, and look at some of the features that I do with it and so maybe you can take it and incorporate it in your marketing and it can probably help you out so let me just go ahead and log in I'm gonna use one of the sites um, the cool thing about the package that I have with smart member is I can create unlimited sites which is really cool and I'll probably I'll walk through a, a process with that in another video and kind of show you. Matter of fact, I'll just start it right here. As a matter of fact, um, let's just start from the ground up and I'll just show you how cool it is. So I just click this little button, create new site. And it's going to ask you for the site name. And I'm just going to name this Test um, Training. Right? And then from there, it's just going to go ahead and auto, sub, auto map the subdomain. That's going to be the new domain for the site, testtraining.smartmember.com. And the cool thing about it is, um, with this, if I wanted to clone a website, I can go ahead and do that. Like, if I wanted to develop a, an entire platform, membership area, and all that stuff, I can go ahead and do so, and then clone the site, and white label it, have it branded, so it, it you know, people won't even know that it's, that, it, that it's a smart member. So, once you create the site, it's going to be, it's going to take you back into the, the platform, like this. Uh, and right here you can launch the site right now and you can, or you can go ahead and start building it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start building a bridge page real quick. Um, but before I do that, there's a couple of things that you want to do integration wise. You want to come to where it says apps and integration and you want to set up a new integration, right? You want to set up uh, with smart memory. It's, it's really easy to use for email marketing to use SendGrid because you can actually start mailing today without spending any money. Um, they would let you mail up to, let's go over to SendGrid. They let you mail for, I think, up to like 40,000 emails, if I'm not mistaken, for free. So if you have a list of 1,000 people, you can mail them 40 times per month. Okay, so that's 10 bucks to around 40,000 members. Um, 2,000 contacts, there's no charge. At 3,000, then it's 10 bucks free. That's, that's when you have to start paying to store your contacts on SendGrid. So I'll just do the math on it. If you send, uh, what is it? Zero emails. Okay, it's 10 bucks all the way up to. 40,000 so 40,000 emails per month that, that will that will uh, cost you 10 bucks and if you let's say if you have a thousand people on your list you can send them 40 emails per month which is cool if I have 40,000 people on my list uh, using SendGrid that's gonna be a $40 pretty much 10 bucks per thousand uh, 40 bucks a month to store it so that'll be 50 bucks for to mail them, but then the only thing you can only mail once a month. So if you want, if I wanted to send two emails, I'd have to go eighty thousand emails per month, and then that'll cost you twenty bucks. So that's sixty bucks per month. If I wanted to send four emails, I go to one twenty. No, one, what is it? Four times four, one sixty. What is it? I don't even know. My math is so bad. Let's use a calculator and figure it out. So I, I don't have the wrong math. 160, duh. Anyway, so I go to 160. You don't have to be smart to make a lot of money. Um, so I have to make calculators, man. So it'll cost you right around 60 bucks um, if you got a list size of 40,000. So just keep that in mind. That's how that works. Um, so it can get pretty pricey with SendGrid, but to start out, it's pretty cool. Um, you don't need any money up front to get started. So let's go back over to Smart Member. All you need to do once you create your account is you just need to come over here and put your uh, your username and password in and once you put that in and you hit save it's going to give you a green notification see something's wrong Probably not password. and it lets you know once, all you got to do is plug it in right here and it's going to go ahead and automatically uh, integrate with SendGrid and this is important that you do this why is that wrong? Oh. Forgot that. So there you go. It's green now. So it, it it's integrated with SendGrid, so it's ready to go. Um, next, 
The next thing they do, if I want to create bridge pages, I want to go to my email list, this little email drop down right here. And I want to go to lists, and I just want to create an email list. So I just create an email list, list name, test training, and then I go save, and that's my new email list. So it's right there, test training. And then I can come over here now to bridge pages, which we're, I'm going to break off here and we're going to pick this up in the next video, how to create a bridge page from the ground up, integrate it, and start capturing leads. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.